Hello friends, uh, let's understand today's high level agenda. So we are going to discuss about the robot class of Java. So here in the agenda, first we will be discussing what is a robot class, how to install it and what are the advantages of using the robot and the disadvantages, the limitations and what are the methods in this robot class. So actually robot is used for doing some mouse and the keyboard actions which are not possible with the Selenium web driver. So the mouse and keyboard actions which are happening on the Windows applications on your desktop which cannot be handled by the Selenium web driver in such scenarios we can go for the robot class. So not only robot, you can also use the other tools like SQLe, AutoIT, WebDriver APIs. But robot is much simpler as compared to the other tools. Okay. Why? Because robot comes inbuilt with the, your Java, the JDK. So no need of installing any jar files. Okay. So as we discussed, robot will be used in a scenario where you can't automate using Selenium WebDriver. Now the question comes why we can't automate with Selenium WebDriver because with in such scenarios you can't find the properties of those elements, web elements or desktop elements you can say, Windows elements. So as you can't inspect the properties, so you can't automate them. So in such scenarios, such cases, we can use robot class methods. Now coming to the installation, as we discussed, you can't, no need of installing any robot jar files because they comes inbuilt with the JDK. So you see here, no extra installations are needed. So it comes uh, with the JDK package. As Java is a platform independent, even robot is also platform independent. So here, as we discussed just now, robot is used to automate the keyboard and mouse actions. Also, it would be helpful in uploading a file, uh, window handlings, uh, pop-up handlings, downloading the files. In such scenarios, we will be using this robot. As it has some advantages, also it has some limitations, the disadvantages like as it can automate the keyboard and mouse actions, if I change the screen or if I move to some other applications, the same actions will be performed on the new application as well. So that is one of the limitation in this robot class where it is not considering on which or it is not capturing the actions or not performing the actions on the required application. So whichever application is uh, active on that application the actions are performed so this is one of the disadvantage in the robot class so if you take care of the application the execution would be in a proper sequence so that you can make a note of it okay so to use the methods of robot class we need to create an object for the class as we you here the class name robot r is an object new robot and this robot will be imported from robot.awt package of java as class has many methods these are the following methods like key press mouse press mouse over key release mouse release okay and uh, also you'll find some methods use like if i want to copy and paste okay some content if you want to copy and paste as you make a control c it is actually saved to the clipboard your operating system your system's clipboard it is saved it's like a clipboard is nothing but like a buffer to save the content to the clipboard we will be using this string selection class okay so this string selection class will copy will create an object with that object it copies the content to the clipboard okay and from the clipboard as i want to paste it control v so from the clipboard we will be using a toolkit class 
having a method get default toolkit where you have a method again system get system clipboard and set the content so this method will save the content okay to the system clipboard so this will just copy it with this string selection it will just select and copy and this method will help you to paste it on the system clipboard so anyways we'll be taking an example over this the copy pasting content so in that case in that example we'll just discuss in detail how these classes work and how the actual execution would be taken up also these all operations you can perform with the keyboard like key press control keys pressed like control v and also giving a as you say control v control c so the key event is a class okay key event and this is the action performed on that class so these are some of the methods which are available under the robot class so in our next session we'll see an example how to upload a file and download the files <laughs>